I tried to make a transistor tester <coughs> and then especially for germanium transistors. That was the first aim and I looked on many many schematics on the World Wide Web and also on uh, radiohistory.com and there were several oscillator circuits and I tried to make an oscillator circuit with this coil etc etc uh, but and you see all the remnants of all these experiments but anyway uh, finally uh, my idea was to make that circuit with two uh, very simple multivibrators Multivibrators say are circuits that are in a that in a certain way always work, and you see the setup. Uh, I wanted especially to focus on germanium transistors, but uh, silicon transistors surely can also be tested with this circuit. Well, um, this is the schematic, and of course you see here say a certain circuit that looks quite normal, but on the other part of the circuit uh, it's a kind of flipped circuit, and that was my idea. I only wanted to use one positive and one negative lead. Uh, I did not want to use a switch that could uh, say swap positive and negative. So anyway, you can use it, but you have to uh, say swap the circuit yourself. Say moving it from this side to that side. And I've soldered in, by the way, uh, two germanium transistors here, both a PMP a germanium transistor and OC0C13. It was a germanium transistors, transistor of the early 1960s. And here, a uh, this was by the way a PMP transistor, and it's a real beauty here there is a kind of mass that has to say um, uh, protect the three uh, electrodes inside of that glass transistor uh, for oxidation etc etc anyway uh, here is an AC1 also a germanium transistor and here uh, we see the, the whole idea of this tester was uh, to make LEDs light up when the transistor is ok. So back to the schematic, here it is again. This is uh, say the uh, NPN part of the circuit, uh, TUT means transistor under test, could be an NPN or a PMP, etc. etc. And uh, I've used here normal uh, red LEDs, no uh, special red LEDs or whatever. So this is one part of the test circuit. And of course you can flip it and then you see this part of the test circuit. And this part of the test circuit is made for PMP transistors. In fact it's a very very simple multivibrator circuit. Uh, uh, one of the transistors has its light emitting diode in the collector lead and a 330 ohms resistor and then we have here the transistor that has to be tested in this case a PMP of course uh, 
such a multivibrator circuit can only work when both transistors are uh, the same. In terms of um, electrostatics, so both P and P here. Very simple, uh, here a 47K resistor to the base and here a 10K resistor to the base. The reason is that these multivibrator circuits often don't want to start when um, the base resistor is exactly the same. So that's the reason why I used here a 47K uh, resistor and here a 10K resistor. And I found out that a 10 microfarad was more or less the best value to make the LEDs flicker in a certain uh, frequency, of course. And perhaps interesting to tell that uh, the flickering also is dependent of the transistor that you are testing. This is that very, very 1916s, sorry, 1960s uh, germanium transistor, and it flickers quite quick. But uh, with other germanium uh, transistors, you can see that the flickering is slower. Anyway, and exactly the same, of course. Uh, say it's uh, it's science. Uh, exactly the same happens here when you uh, um, use a transistor under test that has certain properties. So the flickering effects, this is the uh, NPM part, that's what I wanted to tell, uh, the flickering effect effects rely on the uh, properties of the transistor that you are testing. Anyway, that was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching, by the way. Uh, pen over somewhat. At the moment I'm testing uh, one uh, NPN germanium transistor and here a PMP germanium transistor. So uh, I did a few tests of course uh, nothing is perfect but anyway I did a few tests and they are here. I tested a AC188 that's a medium power uh, transistor an OC74, that is also a germanium transistor from the 1960s or the 19, early 1970s. The ASZ21, it is a high frequency germanium transistor. And the good thing was that uh, one of them did not work, but another of this uh, ASZ21 uh, high frequency germanium transistor did work. So that's that was quite good. As far as I know it can work. It was a, a special germanium transistor in the early 1970s that could work up to approximately 200 megahertz. Anyway, so this is the OC13 and that's the transistor that I've talked about here. Anyway, uh, of course nothing is perfect, but um, say this way of testing a germanium uh, transistors, PMP, MPN, and also uh, silicon transistors, PMP, MPN, uh, is in my opinion a quite good way to do that. Pin connections here. Often with germanium, old germanium transistors, the red dot is the collector. And here 
uh, with the ASZ21, the strange enough anyway, uh, here that kind of piece of metal here is the emitter. So I'm quite sure that you can use this circuit to test NPN and PNP transistors, uh, Bose, germanium and silicon, etc. etc. Thanks for watching. Pen over somewhat. And it's a very easy circuit to make.